Hey, this is Shane from Performance EV. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to have a bit of fun with the inverter. Uh, it's been sitting here like a big paperweight for the last little while, but we're going to change that today. We're going to try and send a few signals through it to it. Pretty basic stuff, just really getting 12 volts into it, potentially getting a little bit of power to the capacitor and hooking up the CAN wires to a CAN board so we can see what's coming out of it. Uh, don't know what we'll get out, but we will... Um, We'll have a look. So we're going to try and bring together some of the work we've done recently and see if we can get the inverter switching on. So first thing we need to do was figure out which wires were which. So we've got the um, connector that goes into the inverter here. And on the laptop, I've got a pinout that someone very kindly put up there. And as you can see, the we've got different things going. So the two black wires here, the ground, the two green ones are constant 12 volt. We also have this green wire coming out, which is the switch 12 volt. And then these are the can high and can low. So green is can low and blue is can high. So we're going to plug this into the inverter. We'll keep all these resolver and temperature sensor wires out of the way for the moment. And then we'll uh, start work on trying to wire things up. Okay, that's in place. I've uh, marked all of our individual wires so that I can figure out what exactly they are. So we're going to use a couple of different batteries here for, for the various things. Put the can out of the way for the moment. Keep the switch to one side. First of all, just put on the 12 volt and ground. I will be wiring these up properly. This is just for testing purposes. basic power going to the inverter. The next thing I want to do is be able to capture some CAN data. So we're going to use another Arduino Nano device with a CAN board attached to it. And then we're going to put on a sketch that covers, that helps just capture the incoming CAN messages. That's our CAN high, CAN low attached. So we're going to hook this up to the laptop and uh, get things running on it. Okay, so that's been uploaded and we're now ready to keep an eye out for CAN messages. So for this we're just going to send the switched power to the system or to the inverter and see what happens. Like our inverter is switched on, it's sending out data. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll bring this closer. So that's all being sent out in the inverter. I'm assuming it's expecting something back, and that's going to be the next thing that we have to, to trigger. Now, if we take away 12 volt power, 
to switch off. This is a successful first test. Now we're going to use the relays to send a little bit of power. I'm going to upload a new sketch to them that's only going to switch on the um, negative and the pre-charge circuit. I'm not going to send the full thing through um, until we know what sort of time is, what sort of data we're looking at to trigger that. So that new piece is working and that is just sending one signal to the uh, relay for the pre-charge circuit and one signal to the negative. So we'll just check that running 12, 12 volts through it now and then we'll set, actually send some power through once we've got the system switched on. Alright, so now we've got both the negative and the pre-charge circuit switched on. So we'll switch those off again. and hook them up to some power. This is our negative. And this is the pre-charge. So we're gonna switch on the inverter by using the on switch and then we're going to watch some power get triggered to it and see what data comes out of it. Triggered the data feed, so now we'll try and send some power through it and see what happens. Alright, there's no change in the data coming out. I'm just going to see if there is actually power going to these two. So we've got it set to DC voltage. And we've got, and we've got 13 volts. So the power has gone in there. Um, and the capacitor is still standing, so that's good. Okay. So we're going to do another test now. Um, not going to look so much at the data coming through on the um, can capture, though we will capture it just to see what happens. Uh, but what I also want to see is the voltage going into the into the battery or into the capacitor rather. So I'm going to use a, a check the voltage on this meter and see what we get. So we've got 10 seconds from when I plug this in. So that's it discharging from the last run. As soon as things click on, we should see it. I'm gonna do one more run with everything attached. Got the can capture up and ready. Then we're going to connect the inverter, the VCM, and then the power. Let's see what happens. We've got everything switched on. Uh, there's a ton of data going over the can, so I'm just going to switch everything off, and then we will, uh, yeah, have to go and have a, an in-depth look at the data that came across, compare it to the notes I have from various other sources around what should and shouldn't be going across uh, the network for the inverter to power up. So that was interesting. Um, not entirely sure what we got out of it. We got a lot of data, a lot of can captures. And we'll take a look, see if it's of any use. If nothing else, it's just a bit of fun. And I'll ultimately be trying to 
use a lot of the stuff we have here to start sending the necessary signals to the inverter to make it work. But thanks for joining us today. Um, if you've liked what you've seen, please like, share, subscribe, click the notify icon, and um, till next time.